And I'm thrilled to today to talk about um, my consciousness, which is bringing <coughs> healthy people on a healthy planet. Throughout this presentation, I'll explain the incomplete journey and what compels me. So I spent many years leading marketing teams in Fortune 500 consumer brands globally in Australia, Southeast Asia, and the USA. And um, excuse me while I start this. But I grew tired of making people buy stuff they didn't really need or could really afford. That wasn't the legacy that I wanted to leave. So in 2010, I founded Red Rock Branding based on my personal passion for health and wellness. Clarity around our why attracts team members who share and reinforce those things. It unites us around the world. And I must say, it's an honor to be in the company of these fearless, creative minds. Some of them are here today, Eleanor, Leah, and oh, Thank you. So our purpose also helps self-select clients. It's the reason we get up in the morning. And it's the reason we sleep all at night. It propels everything that we do. Through conscious leadership, we animate our purpose by helping our clients create and animate theirs. Purpose should give, should guide actions, inspire employees, attract customers, and drive long-term success. For example, at Gale, we developed a comprehensive communication campaign called Mindra. It successfully shortened the duration of untreated psychosis in Greater New Haven compared to a, a control group at Harvard. And the results were published in a peer-reviewed medical journal. So, measurable success, right? And other clients include manufacturers, uh, we, we, they're leaders in the creation of clean, green, and high-paying jobs. So it was our job to tell the story of Kenken through the rebrand of New Haven Manufacturers Association to Manufacture CT. But some clients have difficult stories to tell. While no one seems to want a methadone clinic in their backyard, we nonetheless humanised and destigmatised the issue around a campaign called Everybody Knows Somebody. And that set up a brand new website of soft care and tools for those families. Behavioural health interventions spread through the good work of our agencies. This program based in Columbia University, helps behavioural health agencies address tobacco use. We organise a vast array of resources into their multi-dimensional website. But when my home country of Australia suffered horrific bushfires in, in 2020, millions of my favourite creatures perished, and some of my friends became the country's first climate refugees. So this brought home to me the fact that all our work depends on a healthy planet. Indeed, Healthy Planet is the biggest, most central, key stakeholder. A stakeholder orientation is critical to our success as it accomplishes diverse interests, fosters collaboration, and promotes sustainable and inclusive decision making. In my role as the Executive Director of Conscious Capitalism, I'm privileged to connect the dots between many stakeholders and members in this group. So I've travelled 38 countries mainly on two slow wheels. This has informed and inspired my dedication to this important work. When you travel on a bike, you are exposed, you are vulnerable, and vulnerability is the birthplace of innovation, creativity, and change. Travelling this way also makes it clear how creative people are everywhere. There are so many ways to communicate and empathy truly opens up the world. Red Rock Team's culture is built on a flat structure that is very transparent. We share high levels of trust and respect, sharing information, conducting multiple micro experiments, 
This attracts high quality specialists who are also great communicators. Being a highly creative bunch, but we are equally driven by results in detailed reporting. Client reports align with business development goals, validating our impact. We have grown organically in team and headcount and number and quality of clients over the years in part due to these kind of solutions. We've been able to apply the four tenets of conscious capitalism to all our client work and see this impact across many industries at scale, mainly healthcare, manufacturing, and more recently, green technology, green tech. But when I became a grandparent in 2020, this raised the stake for me considerably in getting business right by leaving the world better than I found it. So I invite you all to think of it in this way, regardless of the business field or research specialty, that you are getting into. Uh, one, how do we measure comp uh, impact? One simple way we measure our impact is our clients through the Net Promoter Score. Uh, it's an industry accepted benchmark for um, all companies. And I'm happy to say that our score is 64 compared to the marketing company's benchmark of 29. We work virtually with autonomy at a regular cadence accommodating our clients to the cultures and time zones. Many tell us that the Red Rock meetings are the bright spots of their weeks. And at the same time, we can all achieve work-life balance with a low carbon footprint. This is what living with a purpose looks like and it feels like. So to wrap it up, countries are made by humans. By applying the principles of conscious capitalism, we can accommodate a new operating system for business that makes the world more sustainable for future generations. And I think this quote says it best. Thank you very much.